Hey guys, Baron here, back with another top 5 video. Now last week, we covered the top 5 fairy types, so this week, we're going to move on to cover the top 5 ground types. And of course, as you know, I will not be using any legendary for this list because I'm planning on saving those for a ranking of the legendary Pokemon at the end of the series. But if your guys list include use of legendaries, then by all means go right ahead and use them. And of course, keep in mind, this is my opinion, if you have another opinion, please put them in the comment section below, I would love to hear your thoughts. And of course, hit the like button, your support goes a long way. But with that being said, let's get into the video. Coming into the number 5 spot, we have a Pokemon that I think we can all agree is very much an OG Pokemon, and that is Rhydon. Now, Rhydon, believe it or not, if you don't notice, was the first Pokemon to ever be created. And you can definitely tell that you got all the essential elements for what makes Pokemon in Rhydon's design. It's really simplistic if you think about it, and it's really quite polished in a way. But it looks really, really good, and it's in simplicity, it is a really, really cool mod. And you know, it's not the best, but you can definitely rock it with, for example, Eevee Light and have a great defense stats. I mean, it has the good defense stats to begin with, and with the Eevee Light, you just make it better. But with any regard, I think it's because of the original originality value, really, and how much of a nostalgic mod it is that I think it deserves to be at the number five spot of the top five ground types. Now, going all the way from Generation 1 to Generation 7 with the fourth pick, we have Mudsdale. Now, Mudsdale is really, really a cool mod, and it's talking about defenses. I mean, this thing is powerful, powerful, powerful when it comes to defenses. And it's got a great attack set too, and with the ability, with the uh, move high horsepower, being able to like gain more power and gain more attack set every time you attack, that's a great fucking, that's a great strategy, really. And it's really quite a mod that is simplistic too. I mean, it is just a pure ground type. I mean, it shouldn't be that spectacular, but just because of how great of a stat distribution it has, it really is really good. And I think it's honestly one of the best competitive mods if you exclude the legendaries that Generation 7, that Generation 7 introduced, which is really a good thing. So yeah, Mud Steel deserves to be at the number four spot on this list. Going all the way to Generation 4, for the number 3 spot, we have Mamoswine. Now Mamoswine is definitely a powerful mon, I don't think anyone can deny that. It really is a good mon, and it's got such a great attack set, and with the Ground Ice type, it actually is pretty decent. I mean, it's got a slow speed and it's weak to a lot of things, but it actually makes up for that by being a really tanky and powerful mon. But I think beyond that, what really makes me love Mamoswine so much. It's just a design. I mean, it's a it's mammoth. How can you not love that? And just with how it is sort of like a pig combined with a mammoth. It's not really an elephant, mon. It's more like something different. It, it has a, a unique spin to it, which I really really like. And it just is one another one of those that we talked about before. Another one of those generation four uh, evolutions that really improved on the original mon being pilot's mine. I mean, pilot pilot's one was. Decent, fair enough, but Mammoth Wine really made the whole evolution line great, in my opinion. So, yeah, Mammoth Wine just started to be at the number three spot, and it's definitely one of my favorite Pokemon overall. Coming into the number two spot, if you watch my top five steel types, you should have seen this coming. It's Excadrill. Excadrill is a power package in a very small package, so to say. It's a lot of power in a small package, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> But Excadrill, in my opinion, is one of the greatest mods introduced in Generation 5 because it has such an original spin to it. It's very, it's very much an original design, and it, it really is a great mod. I mean, it is, a, it is a powerful, powerful mod. It's got a great attack set, and it's got a great speed. If you, if you use it in the sand, in the sand team, it really can get work done for you. But I think beyond that. Excadrill is just a badass, and you can't really argue with a mon that is just pure badassery. And that's what I think Excadrill is, and it possibly does that better than most mons, which is really why I love it above most mons. So yeah, Excadrill is number two on this list. Now, no matter how badass something is, you can never really detach yourself from your first starter. And that's why Swampert 
is the number one pick on this list. And I've talked about this during the top five war types. The reason why I love Swampert is mostly and mainly of nostalgia. It really is. I mean, it was my original starter. It was the mod I started with while going on my first adventure in Pokemon Ruby when I was five. And just seeing it develop all the way from Mudkip into Swampert, being such a powerful, powerful mod. It, that was great in itself. But being, able, being introduced to Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire and being able to mega evolve my first starter. That's just great. And if you, I mean, if you ever used or seen Mega Swampert, you know this thing is about us. You know this thing could kill you just by staring at you. Um, it's got such a great attack set. I think it, that's a, that's a common theme with a lot of ground types. I feel like it's got a great, they got a great attack set, but they also got decent defense. And I mean, Swampert also only got one weakness being grass. And I mean, if you rock Ice Punch, you can deal with that easily. Um, but I think that makes Swamp Bird a really well balanced mon and basically one of the greatest starters, in, like both like comparative wise and design wise and concept wise, really, in my opinion. I know a lot of people don't agree with that, but that's how I feel about it. And like I said, it's all based on nostalgia and also it's all based on Swamp Bird being my pal, my first Pokemon, really. And you, you always have a nostalgic bond to your first starter. So, yeah. Swampert is the number one spot on the top five ground types. So guys, that is going to cover it for our top five ground types. I really hope you enjoyed, and if you did, hit the like button. Your support goes a long, long way. And of course, we are almost at the end of the top five series. So next week, we're going to wrap it up, the last typing, with the top five dragon types. So I really hope you guys are excited for that and stick around for that. With that being said, I'm going to get the hash out of here. Thank you for checking out the video. Before, until, and after seeing you next time though, stay awesome.